Abidjan. No part. That's why I had an opportunity to go and talk to the young people in this party and the country at large. After the conversation, I went home. But yeah, one more ten hours. A lot of them don't have money. There was no car, they threw me away. So I thought the way to interact with them was to work with them. We have an opportunity to interact, to reflect, and I love doing it. That is my true identity. And I'm glad location will be heard. And today we are the grounds of the coalition for democratic change. They also said they're gonna use this place as a point as a point to disperse. I want to say thank you to all of them. To those of the one who could not make it to work along with us, or the fan, the energy to assemble and listen to our voice. And we also want to say to those of the ones who were not fortunate, who did not receive the information, to be at the scene. We also want to extend our thanks and appreciation and our deeper respect to them. I think that is the reason there's nothing else. Okay, May bless it. Aramea, we never had a time to talk to you on Kerry Street, but you made a statement, and I think it would be prudent if you would better explain for us to understand. You said we respect our friends, the Americans, the British people, but we have to, we have to, uh, they have to respect us too because we have no record of violence for making, we have no record of violence for making President Weah is our only crown. But we want to thank President Weah for taking the right decision. And don't think because you have sanctioned a few government officials, we will get intimidated. Can you really explain this statement you made? No. We did not say because you have sanctioned a few government officials. When we speak, we speak very meticulously. And that's why we do not get bad when people begin to, what you call, adopt our recordings. Because whatever you do, it doesn't change the contents of our recording. We are very clear. We say we respect our traditional allies who happens to be the, America, uh, the United States of America, respect the British, who also was the first country that recognized our independence. And all of our partners who currently in this country, we say to our friends who, quote unquote, who do not believe and who yet in transit to accept the given reality that Ambassador we are is the president of this country who have given an opportunity to serve in our respective position. He said, if you think our crime is making him president, we are making the same mistake. We are convincing our decision. We respect the president's decision from asking those government officials who was been called and been brought out by the treasury about what they call about their actions. We say it's an opportunity for those individuals. A lot of them have spoken and said they are innocent. We hope an opportunity be given to them so they can be able to exonerate themselves. They are Liberians. This party, the coalition of the Ricardo change, has a fundamental principle that is enshrined in non-corruption ideology, a non-violent ideology, so we do not encourage in any ways any of our partisans to be involved in act of scotoggery. So we say to you, respect the decision of our of our president, even though some of us, the detractors who believe that that is not a decision should be taken to call for dismissal, we think it's not something you can get hesitant job jump me into conclusion. I think what the president has done, he has taken a decision and he wants to have an opportunity to access those facts that have been presented to him. So, on this note, we want to say to you that people who believe that their greatest actions is to manipulate Dabbled into this and misinformation. We see, we say 
it is pitiful. You now you cannot lie your way to power. You cannot deceive your way to power. The way to power, there's one surest way to power. It's to take your debate to the people. It's to convince the Liberian people. It's to take the argument to the Liberian people. The Liberian people remain the only chief decision maker of making the president in this country. That is our stance, and that was our comments, and we have said it clearly, and nothing can change that decision of ours. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Welcome back to Liberia. Of course, uh, you did explain some of the good things that you uh, went to America, and Liberia stands to benefit, particularly the city of Monrovia. But the other side of it, you did not tell us because we are reliably informed as media institutions in Liberia that you were invited by the U.S. government to be investigated for some uh, crimes against humanity, specifically uh, that of a Justina Taylor case. The second question I have quickly is, what level of embarrassment did the corruption allegations brought against uh, top government officials, you know, in a country? Well, basically, I want to say to you, ask me the question, it is false and misleading. The United States of America is a sovereign institute, uh, country. There are ways you can fast, you know, you can fax, check, and any information. If anyone have suggested or alluded that we were invited, no, give them an opportunity. The media can ask me any question. Any question you want, you are at liberty. Because this is the platform you have to demystify the falsehood. Because we do not often, people only listen to what people say and they jump into conclusion. We want to say to you, at no point in time that we receive any information, no invitation with a standard to us in regard to what you have asked her. If anyone who is saying that we want to challenge them, to disprove our information. And that's the reason I mentioned uh, Councillor Jerome Fredia. And I think it is pitiful that a person like him, who is expected to be a learned counselor, to abandon his professionalism and engulfed into mis and misleading and disinformation, it is pitiful. He was a person considered here, a revered and respectable consider. How then your, you become, at the order of the day, marketing misinformation. It's wrong. At no point in time, we were infected. It is false. That information, it has a resting place in the ballot of the devil. At no time. If you think what we're saying is not factual, you can write the local embassies home here, you can seek clarity. It is false, it is misleading. And that's why we encourage our friends, stop. No one get elected in this country on the basis of falsehood. No one get elected on the basis of deception in this country. Stop deceiving. You cannot deceive your way to power and to keep marketing falsehood. You think Ambassador Weir need to be interpreted to the people? You think Ambassador Weir is some of those people who need to package himself to the people? He is well known, understood by the masses of our people. They are aware of his character. He lived way beyond than the presidency today. And in fact, that is the basis in which the people begin to reward him. You cannot destroy him by destructive propaganda. No propaganda take you to the presidency. It is it is short-lived. It is temporary. You may come and say, Koji, take for example, you said Koji is involved in X and Y. In few moments, people will attempt to become victim of the propaganda. But in a long distance, your propaganda will dissipate in thin air and the reality will show face. And quickly becomes celebrated. And that's why when we go to America, they appear like 
we have won the Champion League because our opposition people filled the, yeah, the field, the community with lies. I'm telling you, how can going to America be celebrated? I've been in America on numerous occasions, but because when people lie to the people, when the people see people like us in America, they think we have performed magic. No, you cannot undo, and you cannot undo what you haven't done. You got not working in our doing, so you can't undo us. We are consistent. It doesn't matter how much you lie on our name. The fact is stubborn that the nothing star. Why are you Can't parading change. with the Liberian flag? What am I parading the Liberian flag? We market patriotism. Yeah. We teach us our people to love their country. This flag should be flown in all of the homes of our people. And that's why as a mayor, we have encouraged our business people to paint their homes red, white, and blue. The patriotism. Go to America. Every home you see, the flag, the American flag, is flown before their door. It is why we want our people. When you love, when you love your country, you are not settle for lies. When you love your country, you will not be moved with lies. And we think people try to exploit the people because they think they can deceive them with falsehood. Mayor Koji, as chairman of the Youth League of the Coalition for Democracy, recently after the July Tonnesis protest, President Josh Manet, we are in the statement issue said it does not recognize any group within the CDC called the CDC Council of Pleasure. What do you have to say as chairperson of the Youth League? So you, you see something I don't understand. If you say you have an luxury, it's different. There's a difference between partisans and the salary. Do you have the CDC COP as an auxiliary? It's a different thing. The president was very clear as a founding father and as a standard bearer, he said to you, I am not aware of such a salary. Do you want to question the partisan shape of people? Do you care people come there and join this party? It's not because people get an invitation. They fall in love of the ideology and the principle and the philosophy of this party. This party so magnetic to their state, they attract the funniest Liberians who believe in this country. And the thing is the surest way that is the thing. So to come and be questioning partisan, I think it's not something that deserves response. The president was very clear. And we say our partisans here, we join this party. Mayor Koji, uh, I see you parading with the Israeli flag. Is it a sign against a uh, dissension post on Liberia? Oh, I don't know about the Israeli flag. Oh, thank you. I didn't know about that. I just tell you how this country is very unique. You see how the partisans behave. Israel is a lovable country. I'm a Christian. I'm a person who fought in love with Israel. I didn't know I would check who this president was parading the flag. In fact, well, moving forward, I will take the flag to my office also. I love Israel and I would like to hear you. As a Christian, when we come here, who don't understand about who don't want to we who don't know Israel? You know Israel? I know Israel. Israel. You love Israel? I love it. You see it? So we Christian, that's how we are. I don't think you want to get aggravated because we Christian. No. Uh, yeah. Mayor Koji, you paraded the street of Morovia. Are you not concerned about your personal safety? Many of them have accused you of masterminding violence. You see, and that's why our person will continue to defeat their falsehood. You in a country, a country where protesters can be distributed, you, you can distribute mute to them. You can be distributed to them. It is a country you think that fear is in existence. A country where protesters can be given water. A country where protesters can be protected. A distant country, somebody wants to tell us that danger is associated with this country. But you see, like I said to you, propaganda is short lived. But the truth will never, the truth that crashed to the ground will surely rise again. Some political pundits do say that uh, the CDC has been dead or dormant over uh, the past times. Are you trying to reawaken the CDC? I want to say a bravo to them. They are entitled to their thought process. They can enjoy their comfort at their respective homes. They can go to where they find comfort and begin to dream whatever they want to dream. I want to say to them in a very clear and a lot of stone, we are sedition. We were born sedition. 
we will leave CDC, we will exist CDC. We shall never, we shall never deny the CDC. We shall never let go of the CDC. No matter how the circumstances may be, whatever you can do, sedition will rush up to the occasion. Thank you, to our friends. You said thank you. I respond to you. <laughs> thank you. Let us say to you, come on, don't say. I want you to carry the recording. That's why you get a recording. The boy and say to them, and let the world go clear. Say wherever they are currently. What I say to you? If they are angry, want to re reiterate that when they are angry, they should go home. They should have some of their wealth and children. Their parents uh -huh. tell them and explain to them about their anger. Apparently, they may find solution or medication for them. But for us, we got no interest. We entertain no solution. We have no medication for their anger. Where we are, we are sedition. We owe the people deliverables. If we do not, it is the Liberian people who will make the decision. Elections are not war of this country. Stop thinking that you can go somewhere and you come back there to intimidate. We will not. We are here. We will continue to be who we are. And in a sense, to live to the true existence of our people, to encourage our people, to inspire them. The debate in this country, it was to tell them that, look, we must exist. You should not define our existence in this country. What offense we have committed? What is our charges? Who are we offended? For us who exist here, and that's why you... Arrange. There is no arrangement here. Yeah. What can happen here is a decision by the people. Thank you so much. Okay, so he's uh, and, uh, live from the headquarters of the CDC. The mayor uh, just arrived in here and he was in conversation with us, the media, following his uh, appearance as CEO today, where he spoke on a couple of different issues. Uh, he spoke today on a couple of different issues. That's his skin to be alive at the headquarters of the Coalition for Democratic Change, the CDC. Right here, he's been escorted with uh, seditions, particularly young people of this party at the headquarters here. This came to be live. Thanks for watching us. Hope to join you subsequently. My name is Clement Ture.